Hi friends. So I'm just back from my CSA, Community Supported Agriculture uh, Farm, where I get my weekly vegetables. So I have a subscription there and I get to just drive about two miles up the road to a farm and get my weekly vegetables and support local agriculture. So it's a win-win. And so I thought I would show you what this week's bounty is it's always whatever's in season you never know what you're going to get so you have to sort of get creative with discovering new vegetables and how to prepare them so i thought it might be fun to do that together so let me show you what we got this week and then i started sort of brainstorming some different ideas about how to um, go about uh, putting them together. So what we have, okay, so first of all we have Brussels sprouts. Look how beautiful and cute they are. They're just, just growing right now. It's mid-February. So I thought what I would do with these is I've got a nice recipe where you um, roast them and put um, almonds on top. So we'll be making those, like a roasted almond Brussels sprout. This one, these are these, they're called purple sprouting broccoli, Rob. So I think it's a type of broccoli and they're purple and I've used these before they're just really soft and they're not at all like the head broccoli they're just real soft and tender so what I like to do with those is at our farm they also sell these wonderful dried peppers they're not super hot so what I like to do is take these uh, with combined with um, kind of the classic um, pasta where you take spaghetti and you make a sauce with the broccolini and the uh, the peppers and it's really delicious over pasta so we'll make that this one is a cute little squash that is just the kind of the end of winter squashes are coming this one's called an ugly dumpling <laughs> and it's supposed to be one of the best eating squashes so I think what I'll do is I'll just cut it in half roast it maybe put a little bit of cinnamon and um, maple syrup in in it and you know just eat it right out of the shell sounds really like a nice even like a meal or side dish so another thing that I've never had before that we have, they call this baby kale. So it's like little, little tender again, everything's sort of tender. I think it's like the beginning of the spring sprout things coming out. So these are called baby kale. So I remember one of my favorite recipes from Stanley Tucci is the pasta fajoule, the pasta bean recipe that calls for kale. So I've got some leftover little rig. Uh, rigatini here and I've got a can of tomatoes so I think I'll make the Stanley Tucci uh, pasta for jewel with with the baby kale because it has kale in it which adds you know really nice nutrition okay then so there's more uh, then we've got some radishes and they, aren't they really just lovely and the greens are good to eat too and then a wonderful bag of fresh spinach so I thought what I would do with these is just maybe make a I like to slice the radishes really, really paper thin and put them on a salad. So I think I'll make a spinach salad with, with the spinach and the radishes. So I'm so grateful. That's our bounty. And we'll be making these. I'll be posting the recipes on my blog. And thank you for being here. And we'll see. If you have any ideas, let me know. Um, you know, just whatever. It's kind of one of those things where you see what you get in your basket and then you create from there instead of the other way around where you find recipes and then go to the store and look for it. This is sort of like a, you know, you get to be feel like a chef and just see what you have before you and see what you can create, sort of like one of those cooking shows. Okay, friends, ciao. We'll talk soon.